Hello and welcome to Traverse City Guide. Today we're going to take you to some local wineries up on Old Mission Peninsula in Traverse City. I'm going to give you a tour of some of the local wineries that are the best in Traverse City. Chateau Grand Traverse is a family owned and operated winery. It has been producing exceptional wines for over four decades. Its perfect location and overlooking the picturesque Grand Traverse Bay provides the perfect environment for cultivating some of the finest grapes in the region. Chateau Grand Traverse has a warm and inviting tasting room where you can try any of their wines. They also have a nice pick your own wine after you get done tasting. You can grab any of those wines on the shelf. Chateau Grand Traverse goes beyond wine, offering a truly immersive experience. Explore the art gallery showcasing local talent and captivating works inspired by the winery's rich heritage. You can visit Chateau Grand Traverse at 12239 Center Road. Next up is Chateau Chantel. Nested on top of a beautiful hill, this winery has a great selection of wines and an awesome view. This is here at Chateau Chantel. It was an overcast day in Traverse City. The 64 acre estate is breathtaking. Perched up on a hill. Yes. It's really neat because when you get here, you actually get a like newspaper-esque um, menu board and you can actually go through and try uh, any of these. They have a lot of wines to try. They have wine flights, they have wine by the glass, everything, and also wine tasting. It is surprisingly not busy here. So again, here is their merchandise. Oh, some awesome shirts. And then again, there are wine selection. You grab whatever you'd like. The views from their outside patio are absolutely stunning. You can see for miles away. They have a lot of outside seating. A few covered up the seats. perfect time to visit Traverse City because there are less crowds than usual and there are so many awesome spots. We are by ourselves here on the top of this rooftop deck. It's so nice. Have you hit that subscribe button yet? Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next episode of Traverse City Guide. They actually have a 
bed and breakfast here as well. Yeah, they are very beautiful, quiet. Chateau Chantel has a self-serve, beautiful display board here of all of your different wines you can grab. Chateau Chantel is located at 15900 Rue Devon in Traverse City. Bonobo Winery is a renowned winemaking establishment situated in the captivating wine region of Traverse City, Michigan. Founded by brothers and inventors Todd and Carter Oosterhaus, Bonobo Winery boasts a rich history rooted in a passion for viticulture and commitment to sustainable practices. The winery practices. takes its name from the charismatic and endangered Bonobo ape, symbolizing the owner's dedication to conservation and harmony with nature. Bonobo Winery produces a remarkable array of wines showcasing the region's diverse grape varietals. From crisp and refreshing whites like Chardonnay and Riesling to a bold and complex reds such as Cabernet Franc and Pinot Noir, their portfolio caters to a wide range of palettes. Bonobo Winery stands as a testament to the Oosterhaus brothers' commitment to producing outstanding wines while nurturing the environment they call home. Bonobo Winery is located at 10211 Center Road. Black Star Farms Winery is located at the base of the Old Mission Peninsula. Black Star Farms specializes in producing a diverse selection of award-winning wines, including varietals such as Riesling, Pinot Noir, and Chardonnay, all with locally grown grapes. You can visit Black Star Farms at 360 McKinley Road East. Rove Estate is situated along the picturesque M72 corridor in Traverse City. Surrounded by rolling hills and scenic vineyards, this family-owned winery perfectly captures the essence of Michigan's renowned wine country. They have knowledgeable staff that will guide you through their entire wine portfolio. Their outdoor seating has a great view of the vineyards and the M72 corridor. Beautiful view here at Rovestate. They have a really nice outdoor patio at Rove. Nice covered tent too to have plenty of seating heaters in the colder months. As we bring this guide to a close, I hope it helps you in the next time you visit Traverse City. So we're just wrapping up in this vlog. Thank you so much for joining us in this episode of Traverse City Guide. Until next time, I'm Justin.